challenge log made by West Coast Picks that he sent to me in a recent package. Yeah, Harley, thank you very much for uh, pinning this lock and sending it to me. It was quite a challenge for me to get it open the first time. Um, yeah, and he named it Turion. Um, and I had to look it up because I didn't know before. Turion is a character in the Game of Thrones. And the special uh, property of this person is that he is very short. He's a small, uh, small person, a short grown person. Um, and maybe this um, has a meaning for the lock. Maybe we have very short key pins here. But we will see uh, when I got it open. We will gut it and have a look at the pins. And yeah, as I said, this lock was very difficult for me to get open, to get it open the first time. And one problem was this check pin. I really wanted to pick this check pin while uh, picking the other pins, but it bothered me so much that I yeah, that I made myself a little tool, this needle here. Um, I shaved down a windshield wiper blade and cut it and yeah, made it to fit here in this in this gap. And when you wiggle it, you can slide it in all the way and it stays there nicely. And you can see it now has disabled this check pin. Now you can pick it just as a normal lock. Um, second problem was that it flopped around in the in the vise, and so I made myself this uh, kick holder, just a piece of uh, wood that I drilled and filed. So now it, I can slide it in here, and it fits nicely. Uh, another tool that I made um, is this tensioner um, that I can slide in here. Uh, at the open side of the keyway and it's actually not for tensioning but for resting my pick on it so that I can reach up all the way um, to pick the pins. And it's easier, uh, more comfortable than just to hold the pick and uh, lift the pins uh, freehand. Yeah, and uh, finally um, I used this pick here, um, the blade, so the pick itself was sent to me by Apache Locksport. Uh, he sent me actually three of uh, his homebrew picks and I um, asked him uh, not to bother with the uh, handle. I would do it myself and yeah, you know, of course This is not the final handle. It's just an, like an emergency handle because I wanted to use this pick and so I made myself this um, yeah, This handle out of two uh, pieces of scrap wood and um, Used two screws and nuts to hold it. I will make a nice handle when I have some more time but for now it works great, it um, is very stable and gives me a good uh, a good handle to hold the pick. Yeah, so now let's start picking. Clamp it in a vise. And let's see. Okay, this is just another attempt on day two. Yeah, yesterday I started my video trying to get this lock picked on camera, but I gave up about yeah, after about one hour. So today I try again and this is just another attempt, uh, as you can see from my finger. Yeah, this lock is really difficult for me and I'm working on it for a couple of days now. One or two hours every day. Uh, really try to understand this lock. Try to get the right feeling for it, but I think I've not yet managed to come anywhere close to understanding this lock. And the, the three openings that I had so far, uh, off camera of course, I think they were just pure luck. Dropped into a little false set. False set increased.
increased a bit more. Okay, nice deep fall set once again. So this happens most of the time. But then trying to get the, the spool set, you can see a color rotation here. Trying to get the spool set always resets the lock completely. So I use a deeper hook now, stronger hook to apply a good amount of force on the pin. Testing every pin here. Find the one that gives the most feedback. Okay, I think I got it. But lost a lot of other pins. And it's open. Oh, so now I really want to see what's inside. <laughs> cool. Okay, first let's have a look at the bidding. Hmm. Not too bad. Very, very shallow, short key pins here and very deep cuts. Wow, crazy. Okay, now let's have a look at the pins. without shimming. Worked out good. Yeah, that's the needle.
Okay, so now let's have a look at the pins really close. Yeah, you can already see some nastiness here. Okay, in chamber number one we have a serrated um, key pin and a uh, very evil uh, split pin with very sharp edge here and a T-pin part and the uh, surrounding pin is uh, serrated. Then we have a serrated key pin in two and a serrated driver in two with a serrated key pin in three and a uh, heavily serrated driver in three. And here we have the uh, overset trap that I got caught in multiple times, I believe, in four, with a very sharp edge here, and a standard driver. Then a spool in five with a serrated key pin and serrated key pin and driver in six. Ah, we have a, a, a weaker spring in four, which fits perfectly to the overset trap. And then let's have a look at the plug. Uh, we have, oh, we have um, undercut here, the, <laughs> where the uh, driver number one nicely uh, falls into. So if you are caught uh, in here, then that's probably very hard to escape. Like so. Yeah. Nasty, nasty. And yeah, here, this overset trap, I think these two are the most uh, difficult uh, pin stacks in this lock. But let's continue. We have threading in two and three. Uh, fits perfectly to the threading of the drivers. And we have threading in six. It's also a threaded driver. Yeah, so this was really a very difficult lock for me. West Coast Picks, thank you very much uh, for the lesson. Yeah, beside of the pins, of course, the spitting uh, is also really challenging. Um, fits perfectly to the name of the lock. Where do I have the key? Ah, <laughs> Tyrion. So, Fits perfectly to the name of the lock. Uh, very small, very short key pins. Yeah, that was uh, a challenge for me, for sure, but also fun. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little uh, Turion adventure. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.